It's a beautiful morning. The weather has taken a complete turn. Skies are blue. It's gonna be a great day. We just made some matcha. It's fancy, but it's delicious. And now, just sitting on the porch, watching the ocean, and there's tons of little dessies running around. There's a bunch of rocks on the coast here, and the dessies like to just run around and scavenge for food. So I think this morning, we're gonna start on breakfast, see where the day takes us and then check into our campsite also here in Titsikama. And today I went for a run here in Titsikama, Storms River Mouth. Tell them what you wore on your feet. <laughs> I went barefoot. I went barefoot because I forgot my running shoes. Very worked out in her Birkenstocks. So yeah, we, we kind of didn't bring workout shoes which was a huge mistake but ran barefoot today. Luckily here there's lots of grass next to the roads and stuff so I was able to run along the grass for most of the way. Such a beautiful run. Oh my god, goodness. If you're planning on coming here and you do like running, bring your running stuff because it is primo. If ever you do come camping at Titsigama and you want to stay in a hut, take this hut number one because our view is sick and also it's entertaining. So this morning I was watching the Desis on the rocks and now there was a baboon just knocking over trash cans and digging through the garbage. He digged through this one, didn't see anything that he fancied and has moved on to the next. Baboons are ruthless. Yeah, we hope they don't come here. We were speaking to some friends we made that are camping down over there, and they said the baboons, I keep seeing my reflection in the window and thinking it's a monkey. Um, they were saying the baboons wouldn't leave them alone and were opening their car doors. We we're just cooking, and then we turned around, and all of a sudden there was this view. Are we in heaven? I don't know, this is crazy. already magnificent view and then we head off to the start of the trip. So we've packed up the cabin and we are here at the Storm River's mouth start of the trail to the famous suspension bridge. It's about an hour long and we've decided we're going to do that, eat lunch and then decide if we're going to either camp in a tent or get a cabin again because there is 90% chance of showers tonight but we can't decide what to do because we really want to camp and these last couple of nights we haven't been able to. So let's do this hike and get these crazy views. Here at Storms River Mouth it's all like sheer cliff and rough ocean so this hike is awesome because they've made these amazing boardwalks that take you through the forest up against the mountain all the way to the river mouth so this is really cool Stations, life from traffic. this is so beautiful i can't believe it this hike should be on a list of like top 10 most beautiful hikes This is, I have no words for how beautiful this is. Let's go closer. So as you know, 
we've done this whole road trip in off season for the garden route pretty much going into winter care but there's been a lot of benefits and one of them is we get to do hikes like this like by ourselves almost and there's only a couple more other people i imagine in the summer this is packed like down the river, so I guess we can see it in the middle. We might even go kayaking. Found the best spots. Ah, it's like a river. What happened? No, it's super muddy. It's super wet. All of our shoes are already ruined. <laughs> Let's just sit here. It'll be nice too. This is insane to say the least. And yeah, we're gonna head back now. See you at the campsite. I wish we had brought our little like mobile kitchen because I don't want to leave, but we have to. Let's go. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> I'm panicking. This is hard to watch. That was supposed to be quick and smooth. That was so awesome. We will be back for sure. But it's time for lunch. <laughs> Do you want a lift? Please. This is the nicest part. We have to get out and take a photo. Oh, so beautiful here. Yesterday, like really as much as cold weather and stormy weather can be beautiful, this place does not compare. You have to be here on a sunny day. It's just a whole different thing and it's way nicer. So we have decided that we're gonna sleep in a hut. It's definitely gonna rain, and it's supposed to rain all the way from about 9 p.m. till midday tomorrow. So it only makes sense to get in. But we've decided since it is such a beautiful day, we're gonna spend the day cooking and as if we're staying at a campsite. And we've chosen one right in front of the ocean. So while Dave goes back up to reception to book, I'm gonna start setting up a little bit of, setting up a camp here and getting lunch going. Yeah, and it's not like, that much more expensive to stay in the huts. It's only like 150 Rand more. Um, and you know, to not have to put away the tent in the storm tomorrow morning, <laughs> worth what it's And to not get wet at night. And not get wet at night. I just realized Dave left the water and I can't make coffee without the water. Love, you took the water. Hello? Oh my hey. dear, I wish to leave the I think this water is a little too yellow for coffee. After sitting extremely peacefully in the most relaxing place in the world, we realized there's a hike we wanted to do to this waterfall and it's already 3.15 p.m. and it's a three hour hike. So we packed up the car super quickly and now we are on the way to the start of the hike. Ah, I'm so
Jackson.